hello guys and welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new opel mocha 2021 model it's one of the most beautiful opel cars that i ever seen in my opinion the the modern look at the exterior the modern look at the interior the new features the new rims uh, those 18 inch rims look fabulous and the combination of black with red color around the car uh, look really beautiful but in this video we will make the review guys interior exterior i will explain you everything about this car as always also i will give you the technical detail in the beginning and by the way if you are new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the notification when a new video will come out also before we start the review i want to show you the key this is the key classic key from peugeot they share the same key also they share the same platform as Peugeot, probably you already know that they have a new group with a new name, Stellantis, and Opel, Peugeot, they collaborate together to make some beautiful and nice cars. And the fact that this Opel Mocha take a lot of technology and a lot of things from Peugeot, that make it even much more high quality. For example, it comes with keyless entrance, as you can see already here, if you're close to the car, the car will unlock the, the doors for you automatic. Also, you can set it from the interior to do that electronic folding mirrors as you can see here you can lock the car by putting your finger right here you can see you lock it and by having your your key in your pocket you put a finger you unlock the car and you are already in now let me give you the technical details about the car guys so right here we have the gs line version and it comes at a price at the basis price beginning price is 31,000. 200 francs uh, also with all the options that i will show you a little bit later the price of the car will go around 35,000 francs this is the price for the brand new car uh, 35,328 francs also you have a discount because this car right here with me it has 500 kilometers on it it's brand new and you have 1472 francs discount also uh, i will leave the link in the description if you are in switzerland around switzerland uh, and you want to buy it you want to test it you want to see it i totally recommend you call them go and test it because it's a really interesting city suv with a lot of good quality technology and also practicality it's great also i will make the test drive if you want to see the test drive check out next days on my channel also it comes with this 10 inch navigation system this is new and it looks really good also is the same one as you can find it on the peugeot also i see peugeot uh, update this navigation in the new 308 we will see it at the end of this year in the new 308 also it comes with all kind of technology for example led matrix light something that i was really impressed when i see it first time the lights on this car you don't find any bulb light even the fog lamps even the headlamps even the tail lights turning signals even in the mirror everything it's led you will be impressed i mean i was like wow i love it also it comes with blind spot technology adaptive cruise control and all that safety features because it comes with that radar down there in the front uh, reverse camera of course we will talk about that later in the video the engine you have the option to buy it with a petrol engine 1.2 liter 130 uh, horsepower 230 newton meter and also with a six gear manual transmission but you can get it also with an automatic eight speed transmission something that we have already on this model right here we have the eight speed automatic transmission i really recommend you to get it at least if you drive in the in the city most of the time the automatic one with eight speed is just gorgeous i mean it works uh, great and it comes also so with this shift by wire transmission inside there the knob it's gorgeous then you can get it with a diesel engine 1.5 liter diesel engine that will come a little bit later this year that will be more economical and more for kind of long trips if you make a lot of kilometer every year the consumption around 5.8 liter this is the the average consumption of the car and most of the information i already give you uh, also the extra thing that i want to say about the car is that it comes with a three cylinders in line it's a front wheel drive it comes with a fuel tank 44 liter 135 co2 emission on this 1.2 petrol engine 200 kilometer maximum speed 9.2 seconds 0 to 100 kilometers the brake discs in the front are ventilated brake discs also in the back you have uh, 
brake discs, normal, not ventilated. 350 liters in the boot, also with the seats folding down 1,105 uh, liters. In the front, you will have independent McPherson coil suspension springs with anti-roll bar, and in the back, you will have semi-independent coil spring. Pretty great suspension and overall very good quality they bring in this car. I drive the car before I start this video and I have to tell you that I was really impressed with the comfort inside the car, the quality of the door, the suspension and the ride. It's very comfortable. Enough with the talk guys. Let's go to review the exterior first time and then we will go inside the car. Alright guys, so let's start with the exterior design and uh, then we will go inside. So uh, first of all, as I said before, I like very much much the new modern look of the car and not so many things look like an old Opel car. I mean they don't keep almost everything is changed here and you don't find any uh, pieces or parts that uh, look like an old Opel and something this is something that I like very much. I mean uh, it looks really futuristic, really new. It looks like like the future in my opinion. So beautiful shape, beautiful design. Uh, look like a really proper uh, new car for 2021 in my opinion. I like the way they integrate the red uh, plastic, glossy plastic around the, the edges of the windows. I like the red uh, color that they integrated in the rims. So uh, they have a great combination between the rims and the hood and the lines of the car. Anyway, look pretty, pretty nice. Also, the roof spoiler look pretty spectacular and sportier uh, up here in glossy plastic, really nice. Also, this red line around the car look very, very interesting. Here on the left side, on the driver's side, you have the tank, the petrol tank. If I'm not wrong, 44 liters. And then in the back, if you look here, you have the Intelli looks full LED in the back here and they look really good. So you can see the red uh, line right here. This is kind of typical for Opel. I think this is the only thing that they kind of keep it from the old version is this L shape. But here you have the turning signals that looks uh, super interesting right here. You can see you have three lines uh, and two of them, if I'm not wrong, are for the reverse light. But overall, LED lights, full LED lights in the back. The tail lights are LED. Also, I like very much those leathers. Look at this, how nice they look. Interesting leathers, mocha. Even the Opel logo, it's in black right now. Black glossy look really interesting. Down here, you have reverse camera, LED lights on the number plate, guys. This is awesome. And by the way, if you want to open the trunk, you open it from down here and not from here as you will expect it. Also, you have a brake light, LED light, brake light up here. And other than that, in the back, you have six sensors, four parking sensors and one sensor for the blind spot technology. Some light reflector here in the back, very useful in the nighttime. Other than that, the bumper is pretty clean with some kind of uh, black glossy plastic, black matte plastic. Here you have the uh, fog lamp right here down in the middle and then the exhaust pipes. Pretty sporty uh, in two uh, exhaust pipes here on the right side. Other than that, I like very much uh, this plastic protection that they added around the edges of the car, even down here under the doors, uh, you have this plastic protection. Those are very useful when you scratch the car in these areas, or for example, here the wheels throw a lot of stones in this area. So from the rust and stuff like that, they are very useful. They will protect the paint of the car, so you don't have to paint it after all. And they, they fit pretty nice with the car. I think they fit it. Uh, really well. Also you have here on the doors the same story, the same plastic with some kind of chrome design. Look really nice and they are also practical in the same time. The handles, you already see it, pretty nice simple handles. And what I notice on this Mocha is that the doors quality are a little bit better than what was before on Opel. So I like them. Maybe it's just my impression or maybe it's true. I don't know, but they seem a little bit better quality. Around the edges of the windows, you have normal black uh, rubber tinted windows in the back. I like this glossy plastic between the windows. Look pretty nice in combination with glossy plastic on the roof. In the back here on the rims, you have these 18 inch rims. I have it right here on this. Uh, also, we have brake discs in the back and here semi independent suspension. Pretty nice and they are super comfy. Check out the test drive if you want to find out more information about them. Down here, guys, you have ventilated brake discs, pretty 
bigger brake discs in the front. Also, we have independent uh, McPherson suspensions in the front. Also, interesting lines here on the side. Um, and then the hood, it's also very interesting and unique. And while you're driving, when I did the test drive, you can see this part right here, this mountain in the middle here. It's really interesting. It looks like you're driving a sporty car. Uh, check out the test drive, you will see it there. But overall, it's look interesting. Also the grill here in the front, glossy plastic grill everywhere. Uh, I like this insertion, I don't know if you can see it on the video, it has some interesting insertion there. The Opal logo in glossy black, it looks nice. And then you have here full LED light, you have also this new technology, Matrix LED lights from uh, Opal. So high beam, low beam, even the turning signals, they still keep this L design of turning signals that we see it on the previous uh, version and also in the back there. But if you look closely, great technology. In terms of light, I like it. I like also that the car comes with some air intakes here and they are real, so you can see the air go there. So help a little bit the aerodynamic. Some air intakes here, vents. Then you have another air intakes vents down here. They send it down here, the vents. Usually most of the car, at least the, the combustion engine car, they have the grill here. but. Opal choice to move it and you don't know if I, when I see first time the car I was thinking this is the electric mocha but yeah when I go deep a little bit I find out that this is the petrol engine and it looks like an electric one and the fact that they move here the grill it make it even more interesting uh, the fog lamps here LED as well here is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features also the car come with the camera here if you take the pack 850 francs extra uh, for uh, the camera can read the traffic speed limit lane assist and you have that safety features in combination with the radar i totally recommend you to to get it with the car the mirrors i like very much that they make it black they are also very nice with the roof and also interesting lines interesting dynamic shape the turning signals LED light here in the mirror. Also, you have an LED down here under the mirror for the nighttime. You have the blind spot technology in the mirror. Pretty big mirrors. Uh, when I test drive the car, I notice that you have a good visibility. This is the key. You see it before. You cannot open the trunk automatic because it comes with a manual one. But if you press it, you can unlock the trunk. Something that you don't find in other cars, it's how easy you can open this trunk here in the front. So you have a little clapper actually in the middle here. You press it up and then look at this. It's incredible easy to open the hood and it's premium. It's, you find this only on the very expensive cars. And that was something that impressed me. Another thing that impressed me is that they add this foam up here for noise reduction. And that's something that I notice when I drive it. Not so much noise inside the cabin. So they put a lot of quality. This is the engine 1.2 liters. 130 horsepower, 230 newton meters, around 9 seconds, 0 to 100. And also it's very interesting the way they integrate it down there. It's really in a unique way. It's not pretty aerodynamic, that's why probably the consumption will be a little bit bigger. I think it was nicer to make it more round, but still it's quite interesting. Also those lines here on the side, lines in the back. It's, it's not bad, tinted windows in the back, you have a wiper here and I like very much the design. And also another thing is that the ground clearance is crazy high. Look at this, it's really, really high. Uh, with this car you can go a little bit off road without any problem. If you want to open the trunk you have to go down here on the number. I don't know why they don't put the, the, the buttons here actually like normally it was. Then you have the handle. To close it, you have this protection for the trunk. 350 liters here in the trunk. Quite big space, more than I was expected for the shape of the car. I see that you have also LED lights inside here. That's another cool thing that I didn't expect to find uh, inside the Mocha. Other than that, you have like uh, 25 centimeters here anyway, very deep uh, right here. And other than that, pretty practical, some kind of uh, plastic here hooks and also here under the floor I want to show you that you still have some storage space where you can put your stuff maybe also a spare tire you can put inside there you have the repair kit right now triangle and all that stuff if you take this out you can also put it a little bit upper if you want to have a, a kind of almost a flat floor you can also put it a little bit upper like that 
it's not so stable. Maybe it comes with another one. I'm not sure if the car have another one because this is kind of flimsy. But I think I think they should have another one to put it up there. I'm not sure about that. And then you have under the floor another floor. Let me take this out and then I will show you how it looks with the seats folding down. Let's just take out this protection and now you can look a little bit better at the entrance in the trunk. In my opinion, quite huge entrance. I go a little bit backwards, you can make an idea. It's really big entrance. You can stick here wherever you want. It's really, really big, very practical. Then if you want to fold down the seats, guys, you have to do it 60-40. You ha don't have in the middle uh, some kind of middle part to fold down, for example, for the skis or long items. So that's a little bit of downside for some people. But other than that, super easy to fold it down just from here, just push it like that. And then you fold it down. Let's go here on the side adjust this headrest just like that and then you fold it down this is the maximum position that you can fold it down and you can still have some storage space down there on the legs room so you can see i have my tripod there and you can make an idea also the transmission tunnel is not so big i like it and here you can see the space is not so huge 1105 liters with the seats folding down by the way this is the space here it's quite okay it's not bad. You have this uh, 10 to 50 centimeters here uh, step because I think the car come, look at this. It has this, this here, this entrance. And I think you can put another uh, floor here and then you will have a flat floor. If I put this up like that, look at this, you have a flat floor, yes? But I'm not sure if this one, you have to use it here or the car come with another one and you can have, you have also these things here like that. Look at this. And then now you have a flat floor. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but look at this, flat floor. It looks nice and then if you want more space, you do it like that and just put it in there. Great. Overall, pretty nice. Let me put everything back, we'll go inside and I will review the rest of the car inside. I will show you the rest of the features. You have this design of the door. You can see from two pieces, one small window right here and another one bigger. You probably wonder why they do that because they cannot fold down the window if they will make a completely one because here there's no space down here. So uh, the window will fall down. Check this out not all the way down it will fall down until here yeah for me it doesn't matter but i just want to show you as an information here you have plastic overall here on the back side so uh no soft material the design it's interesting is the same as on the peugeot cars up here but keep in mind that you don't have soft material. You have a storage space here for your bottle. You have a speaker, you have a handle here. Overall, yeah, it's okay, it's simple, practical. Uh, the entrance in the car, it's okay. It's, it's quite nice, it's big enough to go inside here. Also behind the front seat, you have leather. I like that. Uh, pretty much leather everywhere here, storage. Also on the other side, the same story. Down here you have two USB ports too. I like that very much. No vents in the back, small transmission tunnel. That's another thing that I like very much. And also going again to look the space here. It's quite okay, reasonable space. Going to the seats, as I show you in the front, you have this headrest in, in leather. They are leather. You don't have any uh, center armrest in the middle. You have just leather here, flat floor. Uh, then you have some kind of uh, fabric material in the middle here, fabric material in the middle here. You have leather on the side, leather in the middle. The quality is quite nice. Also, you have Isofix for child seats. You can install two child seats in the back. And also another one in the front. I want to show you because I forget. Let's go inside. Close the door. I like the quality of the doors. Let me hear, okay, hear this out. Sound good, sounds really good. Sitting here, I have, I have 173 centimeters by the way, so you can make an idea of, about the space. Look at this, five fingers, for me is no problem. You have this headrest, quite good. I sit good here, no problem. For me, it's, it's quite okay. And the legs room, it's in my driving position by the way, the seat, check out the seat in the front, it is in my driving position. And this one, it's a little bit forward, but yeah, this is the space. You can stretch out a little bit the legs in the front there. If I go in the middle, yeah, it's not so easy. Okay, but once you're here, I like it. I like this, this down because you have a flat floor here. It's like a sofa. You don't have any 
uh, side support in the middle, between the middle and those seats. You have like a sofa flat floor. And that means even in the middle, I sit really well. Five fingers, plenty of space, head space, pretty good. Stretch my hands, not so much, not so much. But overall, I like, wow, I like how, how comfortable it's in the middle. I think it's better than on the side. Yeah, I don't know. I like more in the middle than on the side. And I can sit here for many kilometers in the middle without any problem. And also I like very much the visibility. You don't have a big seats here on the side, so you don't have visibility in the front. You have quite good visibility also from here and also from the windows. It's quite okay, the visibility once you're here. I can have a good visibility. Of course, this come here on my head a little bit, but visibility is quite good. We will go in the front and we will talk about the new changes in the front that I find it incredible nice. I like very much the dashboard design. The dashboard, I find it really interesting. It looks very much with uh, what Volkswagen did with Golf 8, for example, uh, even Polo, the new Polo. The, the new center console looks fabulous. And yeah, many, many modern stuff. I think the steering wheel, if it was different and not like that, I think you will you will think it's another car and not an Opel car. Everything is changed. The only thing that stays there is the steering wheel. Anyway, let's go in the front, guys. Guys, in the front here, you have a big windows from one pieces. This time you can fold it all the way down. Here you still have plastic on the upper side, some kind of carbon fiber uh, fake uh, insertion here. Then you have soft leather material here in this area with stitches leather here on your armrest. I like that good quality. Handles feel quite good quality. The buttons for the windows and for the electric mirrors. You can adjust electric in the mirrors. Pretty big space in the door bands. You have another speaker down here. Manual adjustable seats in the front. I love those pedals. Those aluminum pedals are awesome. And also you can see the seats in the front. You have this fabric material, fabric material almost everywhere in the front here. Side support, side support. They are much more uh, comfortable as in the back. They look nice, they look okay. They feel quite good quality overall, in my opinion. I sit on them, I drive the car and they feel super comfy. From here you can adjust the lights position and also the fog lamps. Uh, you can change it from here, the brightness of the screen from here. Uh, soft material, by the way, everywhere on the dash you have soft material. It starts from here. I like very much the way they integrate this red insertion with the vans, uh, with chrome design here, uh, the glossy plastic, the way they integrate uh, the dashboard, the design, the cockpit, and the multimedia system with the dashboard look really interesting and really modern. The steering wheel, great quality leather. You can adjust it manually from down here, up, down, left, right, the way you want it. All the position of the steering wheel, you can adjust it. Now, if I go inside, you can see also the cockpit. Uh, you cannot customize in many ways the cockpit, but the colors, the resolution, the brightness, the visibility from the driver point of view is perfect. Also visibility to the multimedia system because the, the screen is tilted to the driver. You have a great visibility in this uh, area so it's awesome I love that even if they copy from Volkswagen I love the shape I love the steering wheel great grip great quality easy to control the cruise control from here functions and from here you control the radio and other uh, function and station you can change it there on the multimedia system the multimedia system is the same one as you find it on Peugeot by the way uh, is the old one I wish they bring the new one here by the way yeah but Anyway, start stop engine button down here. Then if I go here, I have an armrest that you can adjust it a little bit like that. Good quality. Um, then you go there, you have some storage space, no USB, nothing, but just a big long storage space down there. Two cup holders here, glossy plastic chrome design around here. You have electronic hand brakes. Um, and then you have this nice shift by wire transmission, one of my favorite on the market. Everybody bring now this shift by wire transmission because it, it leaves so much space here. I love the way it looks and I like this shift. It's so easy to use it. Manual drive, it's super simple to, to move the different position. The driving mode, different driving modes, sport, echo and normal. I explained this in my other video in the test drive. Check out the test drive if you want to find out more. 
start stop engine button lane assist this is kind of the lane if you go out of the lane they will notice you kind of a, a alarm and stuff like that then you have the parking sensors here uh, with by the way the camera i want to show you the camera guys if you go in reverse this is the camera the same camera as on the peugeot cars it's not a brand new camera the resolution is not amazing but it's still easy to to park the car very easy and yeah for me it's it's worked just fine i like it now down here you have a wireless you can charge your phone wireless one usb port and a 12 volt port going up you have the climatic system from here you can adjust it very simple you go to auto you go to manual you have heating seats in the front for you and the passengers and the quality is quite nice also i like these vents in the middle the way they design it it's quite unique and interesting look at this quite nice glossy plastic everywhere nice design really easy to access these uh, buttons right here the shortcut buttons for the multimedia are here you can set the different stuff it, ha it comes also with android and apple carplay you can connect your phone nice vents integration this this kind of carbon fiber effects here you have a speaker there look at this the same as on the peugeot cars and then you have the glow box huge glow box like peugeot cars it's incredible big i mean the glow box it's huge look at this you have a story space down here and also you have huge long space there crazy crazy space in the glow box and then overall soft material this mirror look really interesting and big and you have good visibility in the back up here you have led lights by the way let me show you closer a little bit led lights sos button microphones stuff like that um, and then you have this huge mirror with led lights super fancy i like very much the way they, they do it really beautiful the roof it's so so uh, in the middle quality and yeah the seats the position it's awesome you can see also the navigation in the middle there while you're driving uh the map it's great and also here the multimedia i think you already know it is the same multimedia system that you find it on the uh you can use it with a touch screen or you can use it with those uh, shortcut buttons right here it's nice the way they integrate the screen here and also it works quite fine when you touch those things here you have all the settings where you can change the language for example the system information if you can go to english for example here change english you can go out and then system language profile you can have your own profile wait a second here is the ac it gets you directly to the option of the ac from here you can change the the speed the fan speed and the temperature also if you go to audio from here you change the radio and those station navigation by the way is the same one on the peugeot i have a few reviews on my channel about this multimedia system so check it out guys also about android auto if you want to see how you can connect your android auto um here it is android auto uh, or apple carplay check out on my channel i have a full review about that there you find out uh, how easy it is to connect it of course you will need probably a cable if i remember well yes you will need a cable in order to connect it and then if you go to car here you have all the settings of the car uh, you go uh, here you have all the uh, safety features that you can turn it on and off and if you go here at the car settings you can change the lights adaptive light and ambient light and you can turn it on and off see here height here it means security you have uh, emergency brake uh, lane assist and all that safety features that the car comes with and overall it's a simple simple multimedia system but it looks fancy i mean when you look from here you don't touch it you don't go into menus uh, it looks super fancy it, you think you will think like wow he can do so many things but it's so simple so classic i should say but it's a big step forward um, and I think in the future they will improve it even more. It's not so customizable like you can do in a Volkswagen for example, but it's still great. Also if the price is not like a Volkswagen, you have 35,000 francs. I mean, if you want to buy a Volkswagen with all that technology from a Volkswagen, you will have to pay over 50,000 francs depending which country you are probably in your country it's even more cheaper than switzerland if you want to buy this uh, opel mocha anyway guys in my opinion amazing amazing good quality i see i find some things super good quality inside this uh, new mocha that i didn't expect to find i like very much 
uh, the way it's drive, check out the test drive if you want to see it. I like the cockpit, I like the multimedia system, the way they integrate the dashboard looks super futuristic. Great quality pedals, great quality uh, shift by wire transmission, the center console look nice. Quite okay, the space in the back is quite good, also for the passengers. Good, comfortable here, glow box, it's huge. Exterior, it's awesome. LED matrix lights are awesome. Blind spot technology, all that safety features are great. And the cockpit, it's super nice. Other than that, I hope you enjoy it, guys. I hope you get some useful information from this video. If you like it, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel to see uh, all the new cars that come on the channel. Also, if you want to see the test drive with this Opel Mocha, I have it already on my channel. If it's not already on my channel, click the subscribe button to see it when it comes. And I hope you, you find it useful, you get some useful information from here. If I miss something, ask me, comment, give me your feedbacks. I will answer to all of you. I read all the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, guys. Don't forget to check out our website, sdadancar.com. There you find all the cars and articles about auto industry and technical data. Also, if you want to buy the car, check out the Gallicker garage in Switzerland. I will leave the link in the description so you can check out the price and all that infos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.